हेलो गाइस एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल यू वाचिंग बी एट टेक एंड दिस वीडियो इज एन कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ आवर लास्ट वीडियो इन व्हिच वी स्टार्टेड आवर बैंक मैनेजमेंट सिस्टम सो इफ यू हैवंट वॉच दैट वीडियो आई विल पुट द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो गो अहेड एंड वॉच दैट वीडियो आल्सो नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी गोना कंटिन्यू आवर सी प्रोजेक्ट एंड विल मेक विथड्रॉ मनी फंक्शन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट नाउ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई एम गोना प्रिंट द हेडिंग सो द हेडिंग विल बी and then i'm going to ask the you to enter the amount now let's input that amount so we already declared this variable which is withdraw money and now subtract this amount from our total amount so now print a message that Now I want to print the current balance of the account. So let's print. It is of integer type, and so this is our withdraw money function. Let's try to run this code. So let's enter hundred, and it is working correctly. So before going further, I want to put this whole code in a loop so that it will print the menu after every break. Now that's great. Let's run. First is deposit, and let's deposit ten thousand. Now second is withdraw. Let's Enter hundred. Okay, so six is exit. Okay, so now what I want to do? Uh, I want to pull the screen here. So I'm gonna put get ch here and here. Now I want to store this information in the text file. So let's copy that and print it here. Now let's try to run our code. So first, let's let's deposit money, which is ten thousand. Now withdraw our money, which is also ten thousand. Now exit. Now let's check our text file. Ten thousand money has been deposited, and ten thousand money has been withdraw from your account. So it is working correctly, I think. So this is our withdraw money function. Now let's make our third function, which is transfer money function. So now we are going to make our third function, which is transfer money function. So let's print that heading. Now we're gonna ask the user to enter the amount. Now let's declare this variable in global section. So let's declare this trans amount. This is it. Now let's ask the user to enter the account number in which he wanna transfer the money. So let's enter the account number. Let's 
let's import that in a new variable called ac let's declare this variable now let's check if we have a sufficient amount or not so let's check transfer if the transfer amount is big then we're gonna print a message that you don't have balance else just subtract the transfer amount from total amount now we're gonna print a message that the money transfer now I want to print a, a current balance of the account so let's print current balance now let's store this information in our text file also Now let's close the file. So I want to print another message that press any key to continue. And now we're gonna use get cs to hold the screen here. So this is our transfer money function. Let's try to run this code. Our fourth function is account detail function. In this, we just have to print all the details of the account like name, account number, total amount. That's it. So, that's our account detail function. So, let's try to run this code. So that's all for today guys, I hope you enjoyed my video. This video is a part of our bank management system series. So if you haven't watched my first video, please check out that video and the other project on the channel also. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.